So basically what's been going on in the world is that if you, if you look back in history, basically everybody, even Europeans, Africa, I mean, you go anywhere, Asia, Africa, anywhere, basically it was a couple kings or a couple dukes essentially controlling everything. And then everyone else was essentially slaves. For the most part, obviously they're like you're gonna be skilled Different labor. Levels of... <laughs> yeah, there's levels. I mean, like there's true slaves, and then there's actually like what, what we call like non non um, non land owning serfs, basically. Then then farmers, and then merchant class and stuff like that. So you could have you could have a, a, a merchant class. I forgot about that meme. That's an old meme. From my channel. <laughs> I'm a merchant. I'm going heading up to the merch level. But um, wh what happened? What really happened? But there was no upwards mobility. That was the thing. So whatever class you were born into, that was the class. If your father, if your father, mm. if your father was a blacksmith, you will be a blacksmith, or sh or basically you're you're condemning yourself to poverty, basically. So mm. what happened was is um, we had Napoleon Bonaparte essentially start causing all kinds of. Um, even though he became a moniker moniker himself, he was uh, because he he was uh, even though he was a lower nobility member in in um, in the, I think the port no I'm in the French courts. Um, he was allowed to essentially become, um, you know, a significant good leader in the military. And because of his, like, his, his wins, he became, like, he ended up leading a large part of the um, French army and just kept taking Ws until eventually he just, like, conquered everybody else. And because he started conquering everybody else, he, because he was held back because of, because of his status, he was a, he was a lesser nobleman. He decided he wanted to promote people through meritocracy. Hmm. And this yeah the, the french in. ruling class hell no bro i, I ain't up for that like uh right. you're gonna have to work again we have to actually provide value no 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 <laughs> no 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 so it was he, he ended up he ended up just completely um collapse. i mean dude if you actually look at the history like I, I i know the reason why like napoleon everyone knows about napoleon bonaparte but or king napoleon there's a reason my picture is that thing of me holding the staff like this with my head <laughs> and, and that's, Napo Love. that's napoleon bonaparte's Love. body basically it's it's amazing right the guy was actually not short at all. That's just propaganda, mm. just to make him seem like he was just some short guy or something. No, no, he was like he was like he was basically average height for for people at the time and stuff. He wasn't a short guy, but they make him look short because obviously he he disrupted this entire system. And this is like without Napoleon Bonaparte, we probably wouldn't even have like what what America is today as well. You know, yeah, because yeah, the whole, whole world of history would be different. Yeah, completely. And it, it, this guy basically mollywopped and just. <laughs> If you look into the history of Napoleon Bonaparte, he completely destroyed everyone in Europe. I mean, just L's <laughs> after L. Like he, he's just nothing but W's. Like he, he just, just completely destroyed these guys. But what basically happened is, by him, it, it was sort of like when like Mongol, uh, when when um, you had Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan would come into an area, destroy it, but then he would allow mm. you to assimilate into the culture, but he would not go after you because of religion he will let you practice your any religion so they're under under his rule yeah, like, right, they, they, they knew if they were going to try to tackle a religion like it wouldn't end well right it, it would not end well at all so this whole thing of just pushing meritocracy ended up he ended up pushing a lot of these like he's like all right you guys can you guys can have your votes and stuff you guys could, could start this whole thing about democracy but i'm still king but democ but like it ended up pushing he ended up pushing these kind of governments that ended up pushing more about meritocracy and just changing that meritocracy part it, it structured things like almost like a business almost in a way where like you can get uh, you can you work your way up you can get promoted in the company mm -hmm. so you started seeing people would work really hard the actual the actual cream of the crop start rising up and actually um this is what pretty much started pretty much all of the um the kind of falls and uh, the falls of kings and queens in europe for the most part and this is what led to a lot of stuff so because of that just to go back to the original point because of because of, of that happening um this is one of the reasons why it, it kind of led to how the united states is right now we're you know we're so you know we're the freest nation in the world and you know you the american dream you can work real hard and you can ascend and you can become a person of means and stuff which is still possible it's just harder to do it so but you have to do it by unconventional means which is like crypto outsider red pill content you like you have you you can't do it to the like the traditional ways are almost blocked off completely you have to go alternate ways to, to essentially ascend the Citadel, right? And um, it what what they're doing now is they're trying to get us to sell our assets away. So right now, about 30% of private companies in the United States own 30% of all